How's it going guys? Welcome back to another Anthem video. We have a new Regulator Store update this week and it's actually a very good one this week. There's many many items in here that are actually worth your time checking out. So without further ado I want to get cracking into this and hopefully there'll be something here that's right for you. So first up we have the Retaliation of Goretus. Not one of my favorite weapons and I probably completely and utterly ruined the pronunciation of that second word of the naming of this weapon but but it is a decent machine pistol. It's not great. It's not something I would go for. I would use the slow rate of fire just really, really puts me off weapons like this. I prefer high rate of fire weapons. However, this one has a unique perk that may actually be to your liking. Gambler's Wrath, when armor declines, weapon damage increases by 400% for 10 seconds. Now 400%, 555 is going to be pretty staggering considering 100% would make it over a thousand. So as you can see here, you get 400% additional damage for 10 seconds when your armor drops low. Now it needs to drop to 25% or below in order for this to activate. However, it does give you on the base damage 2,220 additional damage on top of the 555. On top of this, if you roll something like mine, which gives you an additional 225% physical damage, that 2,220 becomes 2,445. At the 5 becomes 50, at the 50 becomes 2,500, at the 500 becomes 3,000 damage. I know, right? Big brain. But it does require you to actually utilize this with low health. And we all know at GM3, if you're at that health, even a stray shot will take you down. So though this is actually pretty sweet on paper, the risk and reward for this is pretty low. If you could use this on a really tanky build, like say a Colossus, that would change things, but Colossus can't use pistols. So if you can create a really tanky build where even at 25% health, you wouldn't be one shot, something like this can actually be extremely handy, especially if you charge it up with like Target Beacon, Berserker Cry, it can do insane amounts of damage. So definitely something that you want to keep an eye on if you're looking at a build along those lines. Outside of that, I personally wouldn't bother with this weapon, but then again, I'm a Colossus, so I don't need to, right? Next, we have the bad boy, the Endless Siege. This is one of those weapons that everyone is looking for as a Colossus. It is pretty much the best auto cannon out there. Now, as you can see from this, it has a 900 RPM, 609 damage. It's not the greatest damage. And the ammo at 400, you can imagine how fast this is gonna empty. However, the masterwork perk for this is that the base magazine size is increased by 100% and base damage is increased by 100%. So that 600 base damage becomes 1,200. The ammo then becomes 800. But look at what I have here after those two bonuses are applied. Weapon ammo, 145%. I have insane amounts of ammo on this weapon. In fact, I can fire for days and it just won't run out. It's such a fun weapon to use. On top of this, I was lucky to roll a damage roll as well with 150%. Ideally, it would have been nice if I rolled another 250% in the first slot in the top left instead of shield max, but this weapon is a dream for all Colossuses. When it says Endless Siege, it really does mean it. It is completely and utterly endless. And if you can roll this with a plus weapon ammo, you're laughing because you will just sit there like commando and fire for days. Seriously, if you don't have this weapon, if you've been struggling to get this weapon, this weapon here is worth you investing your coins in. It is that good and I guarantee you, you will not regret it. Next, we come to Ranger with the Relentless Pursuit. It's a legendary assault launcher. It's an upgraded pulse blast combo effect impact, which means it's a detonator. Its masterwork perk reads, after hitting an enemy, blast bounces to nearby enemy targets up to three times. Now, what is so special about this? Well, Ranger is a single target combo machine. It's very powerful and it can actually achieve some of the highest numbers available. That said, it can't combo multiple targets. That is, until the Relentless Pursuit came along. Now, if multiple targets are primed, 
every target that the relentless pursuit shot hits will detonate so you can actually get multiple detonates which in turn will give you multiple combos which in turn will assist in your ultimate charge on top of this you're going to be doing nice dps if you can combo all three of those hits you're laughing your dps is gonna skyrocket and all from one shot so the relentless pursuit is one of those abilities that you really want as a ranger it's in my opinion it's a must have and every ranger should be with one if you don't have one i highly recommend you pick one up you should always look for multiple charges before damage mainly because you want to be able to fire this more often than not because your main aim again though the damage is nice off the actual relentless pursuit your main aim is to combo and the more chances you have to combo the better right right boys and girls we come to the bread and butter of this week's reveal yes we have the black powder now people this is amazing this is probably the best ability in the game hands down without a shadow of doubt you think you got something on storm you think you got something on Interceptor? You think you rangers out there have anything on the Black Powder? You peeps are so mistaken. The Black Powder is amazing. It has 1,567 base damage. It's got four recharge. It can't detonate. It can't prime. This weapon on my roll has 200% gear charges to give you even more shots. This weapon is absolutely 100% without a shadow of doubt shit. So completely avoid it. Moving on. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Right. That took a lot of composure, guys. That took a lot of composure. Right, Eternal Scroll, Legendary Blast Seal. This one is an upgraded lightning strike, its combo effect is chain, it's a detonator, it leaves a field that deals electric damage for 10 seconds. Again, for something like this, you want to have gear charges. Though the actual blast itself will do some decent damage, ultimately what you're looking for is to detonate targets. And the more charges you have for this ability, the better. It's actually a good one for the storm. I mean, we're on a roll today, right? Everything I've seen so far today, including the hand cannon, has been actually pretty impressive, right? It's actually a really solid week this week. Even the Eternal Squall, it might not be to everyone, but if you ask me, there will always be some use for this rather than not. And though Steam Vent is probably going to be the be all and end all, this is still a decent option to have. Finally, we come to the final option, the Sudden Death, the Detonator Legendary Strike System. It's an upgraded Tempest Strike, its combo effect is an aura, as you would expect because Interceptor's combos generally give itself an aura. Hitting an enemy detonates a fire explosion, which is pretty cool, it's what you want to see, and the fire explosion will naturally hit the enemies around it, dealing damage to multiple enemies around the target, so this is what it's intended to do. Now obviously the version of the weapon I have here has 225 gear damage which isn't too shabby it actually does a bit of damage and you can actually appreciate it with the 10,897 physical damage that this weapon does but again you want multiple charges because you want to detonate as much as possible it's really cool to have the option to have much greater damage but if your combos are doing like 20k 30k 100k 200k and this is doing you know say 5k who cares about how much damage you're going to get? Even having 400% on 5k isn't going to be that great. Where your combos are doing 50k, 60k, it pales in comparison to what your gear damage is doing. Hence, why you always want to go for gear charges when it comes to these type of abilities, because it's the detonation that counts. I haven't done this before, but I want to do this this week. For me, the standout champion for everything on sale this week at the regulator store has to be the black powder. It shitness is so amazing that it has to win this award. This is the first time I'm doing this and I'm going to be doing this every week. I'm going to be showcasing the best option, the best pick of the week. And this week it has to be the black powder. This ability is so shit. It's unbelievable. I mean, I can't explain how bad this actually is. Seriously, this is beyond terrible. This is just just plain bad. If they deleted this today, I probably would be disappointed because I wouldn't be able to laugh at something so much anymore. This and Final Judgment 
are probably the legends among legends when it comes to Colossus. Seriously. Right guys, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did because uh, yeah, I had a lot of fun making this one, especially with my good pal Black Powder. If you haven't seen it in action, I actually have a video where we actually went through a really horrendous build created by one of our viewers on YouTube when I was streaming before my net went down. If you haven't seen that, go check it out. You will see how bad this actually is. We had four, we had a four stack team with four of us all going in, all black powders. My God, this was a this was bad. It was bad. That said, I really hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you find something useful in this week's regulate store. Seriously, the regulate store is packed with great items this week. There's something for everyone, and I hope the regulate store continues in this vein because the regular it, it's been an amazing week this week. This week's roster is pretty much grade A, especially with the black powder, you can't go wrong. Let me know in the comment section below if you're picking anything up and how you're utilizing it in your builds. What are you changing? How are you adapting to it? What is the component or the ability or the weapon doing to change your build style to benefit you? And if you have any cool plays, let me know. I'd love to be able to collect a few samples from the community that I can showcase at the end of the reveal. Full credit will be given to the person, so please include a name or a gamer tag and I will definitely give full credit. But if that's something you want to do, let me know and I'll definitely look into doing something along those lines. Finally, I stumbled across a pretty cool Facebook page that is dedicated to Anthem. They are called Anthem Lovers and they do not tolerate trolls. So if that's something that you're looking for, a fun, safe place away from the Anthem hate, away from the Anthem trolls, definitely check out Anthem Lovers. I'll have a description to their Facebook in, in the description below. So yeah, feel free to definitely check them out. That said, that's the end of the video guys. If you found this useful, drop a like. It does help the video get noticed. Don't forget to hit that red button if you're not yet subscribed doesn't cost you anything but it does really help the channel grow and don't forget to hit that bell next to that red button so you stay up to date of all content i release right freelancers until the next video remain legend thanks so much for watching my video if you look over to the left you'll find a video that i'm recommending to you that i think you might actually enjoy on the right you'll see a video that is recommended by youtube i really do hope you enjoyed the video and until the next one Remember to always remain legend.